So I'm moving uh, to the introduction uh, side. So, so as we understand that we are just considering one area or we are focusing one area where we say that we are work, we are going through the absence management area. But as a cloud HCM application, so it provides uh, as an ERP, as an enterprise uses planning product. So it provides a package solution which includes uh, a various business processes scattering your end-to-end -end HR functions within any organizations, right? So so uh, when uh, cloud SCM says that okay we have a package solution with entire business all the business processes that are needed so they actually uh, categorize or segregate those uh, business processes within this five area we can say okay so uh, the first is global human resource within that uh, core HR. So when we say core HR, it's the basic people management things that are going to be maintained in the application, your work structure, how you're going to define jobs, positions, organization, okay, grades. So what are the different uh, assignments of an employee, employee personal data, employees assignment data. So all those are maintained using core HR. But core HR processes or core HR configuration components. And then we have workforce directory. Uh, so basically as a workforce directory in the global human resource, so you can have a view of any public information. Those are available for any worker within your organization. Okay, so let's say you want to have um, let's say any public information, the work email address, right? So let's say you want to know that work email address of any colleagues within your organization. So you can have a view that, okay, um, you can search for that particular worker in your application and get the information. Those are made public by that worker, okay? So you can have a look uh, to the public information for any employee within workforce directory. Then workforce modeling and prediction. <clears throat> So within that, it provides the functionality to model uh, based on certain criteria. Let's say uh, as an HR administrator, let's say as an HR, CHRO, they want to have a view that, okay, how many based on certain trains, how many employees or how many key employees are going to be uh, Pro, uh, going to be uh, terminated or going or they are going to apply for resignation or all these things. So to have a trained analysis to prepare that model. So let's say uh, CHRO uh, or any business unit is planning for promotion or transfer. So how does that impact to the uh, whether cost wise or count wise, okay, head count wise in different business uh, units or within different business hi uh, department hierarchy. So you can prepare the models and you can have a prediction. Okay, so uh, these are the areas that are covered within workforce modeling and prediction. HR help decks, um, basically it's a functionality given, uh, we can say it's a within HR area where workers can raise their concern and add a ticket and that can be addressed by your HR uh, help desk team. So let's say the, your employee face some issue in their pay slip, they want to uh, connect with the team that um, they are going to resolve this issue. So in that case, they can use the HR help desk module. <clears throat> Then health and safety. So health and safety nowadays, it's a critical area that every organization is maintaining, right? So you can raise any uh, uh, hazards or any any health related issues or safety related issues that you found within the organization. You can raise incident, you can track that, you can track the resolution, okay? So as a, at a high level, um, as a management also, they can view, okay, what are the different incident rates and to which area we, we got major concerns and whether they are addressed or not. So all those functionalities are within the health and safety within global human resource, um, we can say pillar. So next pillar we can say uh, workforce reward within which uh, global payroll, payroll interface, compensation and benefits are included. So basically for any compensation benefit related which are linked to a worker, uh, whether uh, whether it's a compensation of various salary components or any benefits that your organization is giving, let's say laptop loan, home loan, or let's say any, any benefits, medical insurance, okay. And uh, any other compensation, let's say they are giving any appreciation 
appreciation award or bonus okay so all that policies processes can be maintained within the compensation and benefit module and once those are maintained within that module the end product is the global payroll where all these elements or all the components will be getting processed and employee will be getting paid right and once the employee gets paid so that information has to be merged or has to be passed or has to be transferred to the general ledger cash management where the entire auditing and uh, financial things will be maintained right so anything related to the re rewards uh, that our workforce is going to get uh, or avail so all these are included in the workforce rewards okay so next pillar that we are focusing today uh, is the workforce management so any time related information that are maintained within the uh, foreign workforce within that organization all are catered through workforce management okay so uh, basically those two modules like uh, or the two functional areas are included within this one is absence management and other is time and level so we'll uh, discuss in detail in the next slides for this then talent management within that goals and performance management so any uh, development goals or performance goals that your organization is for Following. they are tracking uh, the progress and they are evaluating those goals so all those are can be maintained within the goal management performance management that every organization have like appraisals like whether it's a year and appraisal mid-year appraisal quarterly appraisal so any discussions that they need uh, with the worker and manager so they can uh, they can use the performance management area profile management so for any any organization maintaining a person profile okay uh, whether uh, whether it is related to their talent data okay let's say uh, this um, the service details uh, or let's say the entire education details of an employee okay, or any previous experience you want to capture any competency related data you want to capture for an employee so all those are maintained within a person profile let's say you say that for a particular job all these competencies are required okay you need to have these these skills to be there as a financial controller as a ch HR or as a HR human resource specialist role so all those can be maintained with the jobs positions profile so all those are a part of the profile management career development so it's a vital part like uh, in the talent management area where you focus on developing the skills of your workers or the workforce okay you find the gaps uh, what the job they are performing and what they are actually having so you can find the gaps you can suggest some development goal for them you can track them so all these are part of your career development area within the talent management talent review so you can have a um, talent review meeting in a meeting where you can see your entire population you can have a nine box chat or four box chat any n box chat you can you want to see based on their performance rating based on their potential rating or a risk of loss impact of loss so all these things by all these criteria you can have a chart view so that you can see okay where my where my workforce are exactly lying and what I need to do uh, whether any if I get say okay if this position is very critical and this person who is having this uh, having this position is about to leave the organization it has a high potential but risk of loss is high impact of loss is high so I should plan for his succession right his or her succession so in that case I can have this uh, module implement and talent review and succession planning then learning any any organization to succeed uh, they have to make their associates or employees or workers to learn and grow right for that <coughs> they need to conduct I many uh, they need to have trainings whether it's an offline training online training or with any training providing vendors so all these functionalities that can they can capture within or they can cater through learning uh, area recruiting uh, the entire recruitment functionality uh, starting from the candidate selection uh, uh, candidate applying for any job uh, vacancy then candidate creation candidate selection process and then offering them an offer later okay so all these entire journey <coughs> is maintained within the recruiting module same uh, as Oracle Cloud has uh, acquired Talio uh, long back so we can have Talio recruit and onboarding area also within the talent management area so if the next pillar as a workforce uh, workforce life or work life so it is a new area that is not there we can say if uh, in the earlier product of the Oracle uh, e-business suitor where so personal brand so basically within your organization you can build your own brand okay you can publish that to your social networking site like LinkedIn 
2019 and all so you can uh, you can have uh, you can have endorsement you can have your competency tagged anybody can provide your feedback uh, so that you want to show that feedback or you want to show that endorsements and all so it's all about building your brand within your organizations okay then wellness so there are certain uh, third party vendors within uh, with which oracle cloud has given the integration where you can track your fitness things like so you have a fitness band and you can link it and you can capture all the wellness data within the uh, portal or within your application which your organization or we uh, which you as a worker can track uh, for your well being right so though all those functionalities are there within the wellness and then volunteering so any volunteering project that your organization having and they want to capture or they want to track that within the application they can use the volunteering modules okay so this is uh, uh, this is the entire business processes which uh, as cloud hcm package solution it is offering and which is segregated into different pillars so let's now let's go to the specific area called workforce management so uh, in this workforce management area so basically we can say it provides a framework or it's a set of applications or components which helps you to manage the time related information of workers okay so any organization uh, it's very vital to uh, capture the times that they are spending in the organization on the working as a working hours or maintaining their shifts how they how much time they are spending in a particular thing so you can do the payments according to that or maybe you can track their time or time offs and it may impact your compensation it may impact your absence hours and all these things so anything that you need to track their uh, working hours and availability or on availability within that organization you have to come with the two modules like absence management and time and labor okay so absence management we can say it tracks your time offs within your application okay and time and labor we can say uh, it's an area where we can track that uh, uh, track various rules or we can define various rules where we can track how we can track the times uh, that they are spending in the organization in the uh, working location or in their projects okay we can define n number of rules we want and we can capture from different time devices okay what is the punch in time punch out time certain organization follow punch in punch out machines uh, third party punch in punch out and then we integrate those time information to our application and store that in the in applications right and after storing that information or bringing that information from the third party devices we usually put some rules like okay somebody uh, has reported time in on 8 o'clock uh, 8 am in the morning but uh, he or her shift starts at 7 am but you are just allowing that okay employee can just uh, do the check in or punch in within Uh, 6:45 uh, to 7:50, not beyond that. But employee has to do the punch in at 8 a.m. So you can uh, you can have your rules like okay, you can have 45 minutes late or 45 minutes absence hour for that employee, or you can put some or you can generate some notification that okay or alerts saying that okay you are late uh, for today's uh, shift or today's day. Okay. so and maybe based on that you can send some information to payroll uh, where you are processing the salary based on the number of hours reported by the workers right so different uh, time based time entry rule time calculation rules and all these things you can maintain within the time and labor and once you are capturing the time so now say that uh, your shift is from 8 am to 5 pm or let's say uh, 3 pm uh, in the afternoon and within that if you are not available within that uh, period so now somewhere you have to report your time offs right so what is the so what are the different regions or what are the different ways you can record your time off within that or uh, within that application so all that are catered through absence management area where you can have different entitlement okay you can say that okay you are entitled for this many days of vacation or this many hours of vacation uh, within a year within a week or within a month so that with if you are applying for a leave or you are taking a time off within that particular range you will be paid let's say 100% or let's say with 50% pay so all that rules and logics we can include in the absence management area so how does that work absence management time and labor when we say most of the things we can say it are interrelated so what are the different integration point or what are the things that they share okay so first thing they share uh, is work schedule 
So we can have a work schedule defined at a single point or at a single, uh, you don't need to define two different work schedule for two, uh, one for time and labor and one for absence. So you can have a work schedule defined. So whether it's, uh, you say that, okay, employee has to spend eight hours or nine hours a day, or you say that, okay, no, uh, they have to be there from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., not eight hours any time. So you can define the rules and uh, shift timing or the patterns of the different shifts within the work schedule, so which can be used uh, in the time card or and also in the absence area where you are applying for an uh, absence. Then absence entry and validation rules. Okay, so let's say you define an absence type with an hour, with an unit of measure hours. Okay, so if you say that, okay, uh, <clears throat> this employee uh, are eligible for this particular absence are type um, absence are um, so they are eligible for that or maybe you are writing some validations that okay employee or worker cannot apply less than two hours or they should not apply more than four hours in a day or in a week or in a period okay so any validations or any eligibility or any rule that you put at the absence entry level so now that is also that validations and rule is applicable in both area, whether you apply that absence from absence application or the pages for the absence, or you um, uh, record that absence are in the time card. Okay, even if you are uh, recording that absence are of two hour or three hour from the time card, so that also all the validation that you have written for the absence um, entry, all that will be applicable there. Right. So it's not like you are applying for an absence for time card, so you will, uh, it will override all that rules or it will not trigger any rule that you have written for that. It's not like that. So anything that you do the setup uh, for the absences with hours type unit of measure, that will be applicable in both the screens. <clears throat> absence approvals and transfers. Okay. Even if you are uh, defining an absence hour, so let's say uh, you, are you have defined a rule for that absence hour, like okay, it will go for first level line manager, second level line manager in the absence, okay, in the absence workflow. So uh, let's say that is tagged to your time card and you are applying for that particular absence for the, from the time card, not from the absence screen, from the time card. So now you can, uh, you can define your rules while you are setting up your time cards that, okay, I need to follow time card approval rule for this absence or I need to follow the absence approval rule for that particular absence if they are applied from a time card. So based on this setting, if we say that, okay, uh, if the absences uh, are applied from the time card, they have to follow the absence approval rule. If that is the setup, okay. So uh, even if you record that particular absence from the time card, so it will uh, that absence entry will follow their own approval rules that are that has been configured using the absence workflow. Even if you say that time card is having a one level of approval and absence that particular absence is having three levels of approval. So now absence will follow three levels of approval and the rest of the entity will follow the one level of approval. Okay, and once it is approved, once it is uh, approved from all the levels in the approval workflow, absence entries are automatically synced in the absence screen. It's not like it stayed in the uh, time cards and you have to run some batch processes and all these things to transfer that particular absence to from time card to absence screen. So that's not the case. So even if you apply uh, any absences from absence screen or time card, both of the area gets automatically synced. So if you apply for an absence R from the absence screen, so that will be automatically um, appearing in your time card if you have done the setup like that in the time cards layouts, okay, and vice versa. So if you applied that from the time card, it will automatically be seen in the absence uh, area. So that's how uh, basically um, both the area interacts with each other.